Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali. And first of all, let me tell you, if you do not watch the previous video tutorial, then please go and watch that tutorial first. In that video tutorial, we have added the online and offline chat and also the last scene of a user. We have saved all these things inside the Firebase database for each specific user. Here you can see this, okay? So now the next thing is to display the online and offline chat and also the user last scene here, okay? So yeah, let's do that. And also we will uh, display the green dot, okay, which will represent basically the online feature of a user that is this friend is online. And also we will display it on our uh, chat activity that is here, okay. So what I'm going to do, go to the Android Studio first and here first of all go to the chats fragment. And on the chats fragment here when we are retrieving the data that is inside this on bind view holder method we are basically after when we uh, display the image okay and uh, here it is okay so the next thing is to instead of displaying just the last scene i mean this is a hard coded text so we have now to retrieve the date time and the online stat okay that is from here and we will display it there so now how we can do that so after this if statement what I'm going to do here I'm going to create I mean write another if condition for the online and offline chat and here we will basically check if data snapshot dot child and the child is basically the user stat okay which is basically our this node under the user unique id as you know we are uh, data snapshot is basically the reference to it okay user ref and dot child user id so we are uh, referencing to a specific user who is going to i mean who is online so here we say that a snapshot dot child user stat dot has child and inside that we are going to retrieve the specific uh, stat okay which will be either online or offline so we can simply say stat and here we are going to retrieve all the i mean the date time and stat now so you can set that equals to let's copy this by using this we will retrieve the data so here we can say paste that okay so data snapshot dot child you start dots and change this to child dot get value dot true string so put a semicolon here and now let's Give it a name stat so it will retrieve the value of it it will be either online or offline and the same for the date we will do it now so let's copy this and paste that here and now this one is for the date and the other one is for the time and also here we are basically going to retrieve the time stat uh, sorry this one is date and then the time so yeah that's it and uh, First of all, let me tell you one more thing which is important is the that is there are other users I mean the old user who has not let's say updated the app. Okay, so we have to take care of that user also. So in that case in the else statement, we can simply say copy this uh, This one sorry, which is the user status. Okay, so copy this last seen text from here and paste that simply here and remove this and for the old user who has not I mean now log into their app let's say they are the old user and they have not updated their app so in that case if uh, that node which is user stat okay so if user stat node is not available for them in the database then we will just display for them that is offline so once they log in into the app okay or you can say they update their app then uh, this if statement will execute for them every time okay which will basically display the last scene and the online and offline stat so i hope you are understanding everything which i am explaining okay and one more important thing which i am going to do is you can simply uh, cut this final string and this thing okay cut this code from here and let's move this above this if statement which we just created okay so we can simply paste that here okay and the next thing is inside this if statement we retrieve the state date time and after that we can say if now we are checking basically for the state that is the user is online or, or 
offline so if stat dot equals to which is basically contains the online or offline value so we can say dot equals to so if it is equals to online then we are going to display the online status okay and let's copy this status and paste that here so we can say that is online and if the stat is equals to offline so let's copy this and we will change it for the offline stat so we can say else if and if it is equals to the offline then copy this and also then remove it okay you don't need it anymore and now you can simply replace this with it and now here we can say last scene and remove this and instead of this hard coded text we can now I mean this text okay, we can just display the date which is stored inside this date variable and after that we will give some space and after that we will display the time so yeah that's it this is all about our uh, chats fragment now we have to uh, display it on the chats activity so now go to the chats activity and here on our chats activity first of all come down here and here we have this uh, custom messages layout okay so if you click on that not this one let me check first this one okay which is a custom chat bar if you double click on that then yes this one okay custom user last c which is this one and if you come back to the chat activity then we have already uh, defined this text view here which is user last scene and let's check the initialization of it also so come here to this method okay and here check for user last scene you can see this okay user last scene we have already initialized or you can say cast that here so we have re give a reference to that okay you can see the id of that also so now we can display the last scene on this uh, user last scene uh, text view so come here at the top and uh, below this initialize controllers okay we are going to create a method let's uh, create that private void and the name of this method will be display last scene and now here inside this method we will write the I mean we will retrieve basically the last scene information of a specific user so for that we need a reference and let's check first so we have already this root ref okay so by using this root reference we can simply say here that is root ref dot child and we have a users node and inside this users node we are searching for the current user so the current user id in this case is this one okay which is message sender id which we are getting using this mo get user and get uid so yeah here we can say message sender id dot add value event listener new value event listener and make sure to put a semicolon here first and inside this on data change for the time saving go to the chats fragment and we have already write this code here so copy this whole if else statement okay which is this one which we just wrote and now paste that inside this on data change and here we need to do some changes data snapshot we are searching for the user stat and if there exists stat then we are retrieving this data and if the stat is online then we are going to set the text online on our text view which is by the name user last scene which i just show you guys okay and now also paste that here so yeah that's it and also here and now the last thing is to display the green icon that is if any user is online then we should display it okay on the uh, contacts fragment okay which basically means our friends if any of our friend is online then it should uh, show us the green dot with the green dot that is this user is online so for that i want to remind you something if you come here to the user display layout okay then here let's come here to the text okay and here i want to show you guys something which is an image view where we were basically displaying the green dot and i already told you in the very first video tutorials that we will work on it in the upcoming video tutorials and now is the time
to complete our this app okay so you can see this green dot okay so now making it invisible okay i just uh, want to show it to you guys so the id for this is user online status and now let's okay remember the id user online status now come back to the context fragment and here come down to the uh, context view holder uh, static class and here we need to uh, define and initialize it so we can say image view and we can say online icon and here we need to give reference to it so you can say online icon equals to this is an image view find by using the item view okay which is this view object we can say dot find view by id or dot id dot user last custom user last scene first let me confirm the id because and the id is this one user online status okay sorry for that so make sure to use the same ids here so user what is the id i mean it is user online status okay sorry for that user underscore online and finally this one okay the correct id so yeah that's it and now come here above and we have to display the icon for every user or you can say i mean not every user or every friend that is let's say you are a current user or an online user so there will be let's say some 20 or 30 friends of you in the contacts fragment i mean 20 or 30 contacts so any of the contact if any of uh, the user from them is online then we will display these icon with that specific users so here uh, inside this on bind view holder we are retrieving the data okay and above this if statement we can just but first of all wait a second okay we need to add some other validation for this thing okay which is user ref child user ids okay so let's cut this if else statement which we wrote earlier in the previous video tutorial so cut this first and here we need just to add this first validation if data snapshot dot exist i don't know why i forgot to do this okay so now paste your uh, code here inside this and yeah that's it and now uh, inside this we are going to uh, retrieve the data okay so now go to the chat fragment and here we wrote this code okay so copy this whole code and come back and paste that code here for the online state so the rest of the thing will be the same but here we need instead of displaying the text we are not displaying any text here we are displaying the online icon so if the user is online okay so in the context fragment here we can simply say holder dot online icon dot set visibility to visible that's it and now in case of offline we have to invisible that icon back okay so we can just say invisible and also for the old user who has not logged in yet to their app so for them it will always be invisible so yeah that's it now let's run the app so we can test it so before we run the app one thing which i tell you guys is go to the main activity okay and on the main activity here we need to here you can see we have this current user mod.get current user we can't get this like that okay so cut this from here and also remove this firebase user from here is the current user and now come down here to the on start method and here above this we can just say current user and let's initialize that here so we can say firebase user current user equals to this and copy this and then we can simply come down here and pass that also here and also in the on destroy and now if you come down here when a user log out okay so you can simply come down here and here we have this mod dot sign out so here you can simply pass the i mean this one okay which is our own let me copy it from the from above okay which is update user status which is basically the name of our method so whenever a user click on the logout button then we will uh, basically 
update it to the offline state so yeah that's it now let's run the app so now let's test the app on both devices so from this device i am logged in by my own account which is mohammed ali and now from this mobile device i am going to log in using rida robert's account so here you can see this to me it is written that is rida robert's is online now and to her i mean to rida robert's it is showing that is muhammad ali is online now and now if she goes to the contacts then here you can see this green dot muhammad ali is now live or you can say online so you can see this green dot i mean this is amazing this is perfect and also if i go to the contacts then to me it is showing that is rida robert's is online so yeah i mean this is fantastic this is amazing this is incredible and now also let's go to the uh, chats okay let's go to the chat activity so here you can see that is uh, it is showing that is rida robert's is online now so yeah everything is working fine now i'm going to log out from this device okay and i'm going to log in from this account using peter parker okay and here you can see when i log out the green dot disappear and now here also you can see the last scene of a user okay which is this one you can see this five six okay and also if i go to the chat activity then here you can see the last scene now i'm going to log in using this peter parker account so let's do it now keep your eyes here so here we go online now and here you can see to peter parker it is showing that is muhammad ali is online now and now uh, peter parker goes to the contacts then here you can see the green dot and also here to me it is showing that is peter parker is online and let's say if peter parker minimize the app okay then here you can see it disappeared and now it will show me the last scene of peter parker so yeah this is incredible this is amazing so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and facebook account by this username like this video thank you so much for watching take care of yourself and bye for now